Only one game in town these days, the presidential runoff vote on May the 28th. Politicians are paying close attention to the next moves of voters like Tunje and Burak. They both voted for independent candidate Sinan Owan in the first round. But now that Owan is out of the next round, they have to choose between incumbent president Recep Tayyip Erdogan and opposition challenger Kemal Kilishtarolu. So have you decided who you're going to vote for? We haven't actually decided yet. We're watching developments and listening to Sinan's reasoning. So will you only vote for somebody if Sinan Owan endorses him? Sammy, I'll make up my own mind. We'll vote for the candidate who we feel will govern best for the republic and people. That sentiment may explain the strategy of the Governing Justice and Development, or ARC party. I declare my support for Recep Tayyip Erdogan in the second round and call upon my voters to support him. The ARC party may have secured Erdogan's endorsement, but it's looking beyond him to get votes. The lack of certainty over just how wedded some voters are to the opposition figures and parties they voted for in the first round is perhaps what's motivating the ruling alliance now to focus on trying to speak to the nationalist sentiment and trying to reach out to those voters directly. ARC party officials are doing everything they can to keep people singing to a familiar tune ahead of the poll. Their messaging seems to target nationalists. Our president has long been saying, Turkey has one flag, one state, one nation and one homeland. This is where nationalists and conservatives unite. Analysts say Sinan's endorsement of the president for another term is a worrying sign for the opposition. It probably means he doesn't think Kılıçdaroğlu will win and he doesn't want to be on, uh, on the side that is likely to lose. The main opposition alliance is still sounding confident, though. Do you think you can still win the election, sir? Uh, of course. Ekrem Imamoglu leads the rally effort for the opposition presidential candidate. The mayor of Istanbul draws the crowds on a visit to a market. His Republican People's Party is also appealing to nationalists, promising to fight armed groups and send refugees home. Are you concerned about motivating people to come out for the second round? The voter turnout will definitely be high. Citizens understand very well what's at stake in the second round. A nation's future is what's at stake. And in a highly polarized contest between two players, that's something many don't want to leave to a roll of the dice. Sami Zaydan, Al Jazeera, Istanbul.